So we had the Twin Towers, and of course then we had the Pentagon, but the terror did not end with the attack on the Pentagon. About a half hour after that, another hijacked United Airlines flight crashed about 80 miles southeast of Pittsburgh in the town of Shanksville. Reporter Dick Russ joins us now from Somerset, Pennsylvania, with the latest on that. Dick? Yeah, this is middle America, and this is a place one would think should be far beyond the reach of madmen. But tonight, this small, quiet piece of country here in southern Pennsylvania is indeed one of the places in which our nation has been deeply, deeply wounded. There were 45 people on board the hijacked United Airlines 757 when it nosedived into the ground at the edge of this old strip mine. Paula Pluta saw it all from her front yard and ran to the place the plane crashed. Little pieces of metal. There wasn't anything there but little pieces of metal. I unfortunately did not see um, bodies because I don't think I could have handled that. But um, uh, just the the impact of what's going on in the nation and here it's just very disheartening because you don't realize how close it can get. No piece of wreckage was larger than a telephone book. No identifiable bodies were found. Just moments before Flight 93 crashed here, a passenger managed a cell phone call to the local 911 dispatcher. We're being hijacked, he screamed. We're going down. And then he died. And I immediately said a prayer, too, because I knew that there was no, no life left on that plane. Just what happened on that plane is now up to the FBI and other federal agencies who are in charge of the investigation. They've set up a command post uh, behind me, and there's construction work going on here so that communications and what becomes now a recovery uh, project can uh, go on. Witnesses have said that they saw the plane actually flying upside down with the tail down and that it plunged into the earth at at least a 60 degree angle, possibly straight down, which would account for the small crater about uh, 20 feet around and at least 10 or 20 feet deep. The uh, bulk of the remains of that plane and all the 45 people who are on board may be buried deep in that crater uh, just in the field beyond these trees here. Dick, of, Dick, of course, you know that many people believe the plane, uh, that where it crashed wasn't the intended place for that plane to go down, that it was, in fact, uh, Camp David, the presidential retreat. Yes, the plane originated in Newark, New Jersey, 38 passengers, 7 crew. It was bound for San Francisco. It crashed here about uh, 80 or so miles southeast of Pittsburgh, but... Uh, the plane may have been headed back around to the Washington area. That's one theory and uh, one of the uh, intended targets. And, and it's still a matter of great speculation. And uh, uh, it, it, is, it is really one of the uh, foremost theories here in Pennsylvania is that the plane was headed for Camp David but uh, fell far short. Why it fell here into this rural area, no one knows yet. And that will be the uh, focus of the investigation here throughout the night and, and into many days to come. Dick Russ, thank you very much. Thanks, Dick. Yeah.